In this video, we're going to be looking at the reinstallation of DaVinci Resolve Studio in Windows. I will cover some other installation possibilities that are available. But the reason I'm doing this video is I'm doing a fresh install of DaVinci Resolve. In the last video, I actually uninstalled my DaVinci Resolve to do a complete new fresh install. So let's just dive in. We're on the Blackmagic website. All links will be in the description and as you can see they've launched a new camera but if we just come down this little bit here on the right hand side we've got the davinci resolve 18 download the public beta now if you've never used davinci resolve before then you can use this link so if we click on this link it will take us to the davinci resolve 18 page and if i scroll down we've got some options here on the left we can download the free version or we can buy the studio version online now i already own the studio version so if i click this link it's just going to ask me to purchase another license which i've already got one so i don't need to do that so if i go back and if we click on the free download link we then get the choices of downloading the davinci resolve 18 beta so davinci resolve is the free version you can download that for mac windows and linux or we could download the studio version so we could do that mac window and linux or because these are beta then we can also download the davinci resolve 17 free version and davinci resolve 17 studio version so for the studio versions you need a license or you need a dongle that is one way that you can do it all you need to do for the free version would to be to click on your operating system so we'll click on this one you'd complete this form so that will then download the 17.4.6 free version however i want to download the studio beta version so i can click on this one and again we get the same questions however it wants my serial number and i use a dongle so i can come to download only now that is just one way of getting into the download options of davinci resolve which is just here but you may be uninstalling say resolve 18 beta and you want to go back to um, 17.4 or something prior to 17.4.6 and the way to do that is to just come up into the menu at the top and select support and then in the product family davinci resolve and fusion software and now scroll down and we've got the latest downloads here you've got all the downloads of all the versions of davinci resolve and fusion studio we're just interested in davinci resolve at this stage but if i scroll down you can see we've got the project server update fusion update and then if we come down a little bit more we'll come into 17 so here we go this is 17.4.6 and if we keep scrolling you can see 17.4.5 we just go back in time so if you want to install an earlier version of davinci resolve you can do so but do remember that it will be a completely fresh install and none of your existing projects will work because the databases aren't compatible unless of course you've previously backed up those databases and those projects now i am going to come all the way to the top because i'm going to install davinci resolve studio 18 public beta 5 you can download for mac windows and linux the download process is basically the same but i'm running a windows machine so let's click on windows and we're back to this registration and all i'm going to do is do a download only because i've already registered and this will then open the download and because i've got download manager installed it will actually open my download manager and it's um, downloading just over three gigabytes if you haven't got download manager and you click this and you're in a browser you would need to leave the browser open until the download is complete so what we do then is we click start download now we've downloaded the folder we're going to open up a link i've done this before so i've got two of them and now i'm down to one i can actually close the davinci resolve website now it comes down in a zip folder and depending what extraction application you've got you can either double click on it and we can run it from in here or you can right click on it and i'm using 7-zip so we could extract it into a folder 
or we could extract here means extracting it out of the folder and we have it just up here and it's ready to run and what we do is double click on this because i haven't got any fairlight accelerator utilities i've no boards or anything like that i just want davinci resolve i'm going to click install and it's now going to install davinci resolve click next agree to the terms click next next and install DaVinci Resolve has now completed installation. We can have a look at the README files by ticking this box and clicking finish. And it's going to open the README files. Installation is complete. That gives us room. And this explains all the new features in this version of DaVinci Resolve. Close that out. We don't need this programs folder anymore. We can actually delete this um, exe file. We've got it here so we can keep this just in case. I normally keep a couple of versions back and I don't need to download them again. And you'll see we've got DaVinci Resolve just up here. I'm going to drag this down into my taskbar just here. So I've got a link here as well as on the desktop. And I'm just going to make sure that it opens and runs. With a clean installation, we get the What's New panel. So this is telling us what is actually new in this version. And then we can click Continue. And it's going to go through a setup because we did a complete uninstallation. I'm going to go for the quick setup. Check in the operating system and the graphics card. We continue. I tend to do things in 1080p. And where we're going to put the files. You can change the user folder if you wish. It's then going to ask if we've come from a previous or different non-linear editor. I haven't, but if you've come from Premiere Pro, Final Cut 10, Media Composer or Pro Tools, you can select these as the keyboard shortcuts will then match up to what you're used to. But I've been using DaVinci Resolve for a long time, so I'm going to click Continue and now I'm all set up. I can start DaVinci Resolve. This is asking to go past the firewall and I'm happy with this because I'm actually inside a studio and we've just got our own internet. We're not on a public internet. DaVinci Resolve will scan through any plugins that you've got, whether these are video plugins or whether they are VST audio plugins. So the first time that you launch DaVinci Resolve may take a few seconds to go through the search. And again, I've got another firewall request. And it's just scanning through my audio clips here, as you can see. And there we go, we've now got DaVinci Resolve installed. I'm just going to go to Workspace full screen. And this is the basic layout of DaVinci Resolve. So in the next video, we're going to set up DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can set it up. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly.